friends so in the previous video we saw the recursive implementation of quick sort algorithm in this video we will see the iterative implementation of the same quick sort algorithm so here also the partition that is the partition into the lhs and rhs and placing the pivot element in the between in between step is present and it is exactly the same as was in the previous video so only difference here is that the function called recursive stack that is there are no recursive function calls here so that recursive stack is replaced by an explicit stack which is maintained by us obviously and which stores the starting and ending indices of the array on which we want to perform the quick sort algorithm so let's see we want to sort from 0 to 19 so we push 0 and 19 in the stack first so the starting index of the array and the ending index of the array then we continue doing this till the array is empty the stack is empty so we pop these 0 and 19 and call pop these 0 and 19 let us call the first popped element x and the second element y so x is equal to 0 y is equal to 19 and then we call partition x comma y so when we call partition x comma y that is partition 0 comma 19 we will obtain the result as this the LHS is 0 to 7 and RHS is 9 to 19 so now uh, 8 is in, it in the its correct position we want to sort 0 to 7 and 9 to 19 these two sub arrays we want to sort so these two arrays we want to sort and so we insert that information into this stack so we push 0 and 7 which indicates that we want to sort this array from 0 to 7 and then we push 9 and 19 which indicates that we want to sort this array from 9 to 19 also so these two individual arrays we want to sort so 9 so next step is we pop as soon as we pop 9 and 19 we push its two children that is uh, children means when we call partition 9 comma 19 it is partitioned into two parts so 9 12 and 13 is the pivot and 14 19 so as soon as we pop 9 19 we push 9 12 and 14 19 9 12 and 14 19 so we push 1 and 1 9 19 and we pop sorry we pop 1 9 19 and we push two of its children 9 12 and 14 19 so this way we keep on popping and pushing their children but there is a base case also where we have reached one sized array so we just pop and we and it will have no children so we so we just pop we need not push because it doesn't have any children so it is pop so we just need to pop that's all so this way the recursive uh, algorithm works thank you friends